greatest in records, Sue Randy's at 17 North Parade. Also auto decorations, radios, record changers, plus 1,000 odd items. Come and see us, Randy's at 17 North Parade. Telephone 2-4859. We're open till 7 every night. the main studio here because it was a downtown and this is where all the artists hangs out so it was close by for everybody to make a minute step to so it become the the, the, the key studio of downtown Kingston really. The Randall studio was in town and town is the thing. You know kill a country there you have to come a town and if you come a town then you have to come around this studio. And the record shop underneath the studio on top, everything was there. Well, everybody there were like kind of young and vibrant and in love with the music, you know. Because those days is when you find artists, everybody, everything was under one cover. Producer, artist, musician, and listeners, everybody had just one love, you know what I mean? And the vibe was there that it's not like now. When you see if a guy that making record now, they will just go for the cash and the money now. First time you make record, you make it by the love, you know what I mean? And even when you want to hear some good songs, you go to Randy's, you sit on Igla's rest. Then when you hear some song playing and coming up the rest, you walk around Randy's and you say, who sing that song? It's new songs, you know what I mean? They say, well, it's John Brown or whatever, and therefore, you know, it's, the vibe always be nice, you know? I remember Randy's were the place where all the artists congregate. We did have the whole of them name was written on the wall, name Hagler's Rest. Anytime you want an artist, you just drive down Chancellor and look on the wall and you see his name and you ask, you can't get him anywhere. It's, you see, all, all of this place here is, is, is where we hang out because it's like at the back of Randy's. Yeah? If you can still look, you see. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Sly and Robbie, Sir Harry. Harry died. Like you see, you still have music, international music corner, yeah? The Studio 17, I would say, played a pivotal part of Jamaican music on a whole because a lot of the big tunes, especially in the early 70s, came out of Randy's. <laughs> 